Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Bless your name. Thank you, Lord. This is the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Bless your sweet name. I'm here today to do an outreach ministry to lift up the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ said, if I be lifted up from the earth, he said, I will draw all men unto me. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. We're here today to let you know that God loves you. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. See, the Bible says God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. So God loved you so much that he sent forth his son made of a woman. Thank you, Lord. Made under the law to do some redeeming. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. So this is the church that goes to the highways and hedges to compel men to come to the Father's house. Thank you, Lord. Bless your sweet name. And the message that we preach to the soul of man is not a message of condemnation. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name. But we preach the love of God. Thank you, Lord. Letting, that, letting everybody know that your soul is precious unto Jesus. Yes, Lord. Bless your sweet name. See, we realize God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name. So when Jesus Christ came into this world, he came to seek and save those that was lost. He had his mind set one way, and that's to please the Father. Thank you, Lord. Any distractions that came his way, he ran it off. Yes, Lord. Bless your sweet name. So he kept his mind like a flint set. Thank you, Lord, to do the will of the Father. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. Thank you, Lord. So I'm going to let you know today when Jesus Christ came, he made a statement. He said, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. Well, I found out he was talking to people that was already living. So this life that he was referring to, it could not be natural life because these folks was already living. Yes, Lord, bless your sweet name. But what about your soul? What about your inward man? Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. There was a man of the Pharisee named Nicodemus. He came to Jesus Christ by night. But Nicodemus was a ruler of the Jews. He was teaching the people of God at one point. But when he came to Jesus Christ, yes, Lord, bless your name. He said, we know that you are a teacher that come from God. But no man can do the miracles that thou doest except God be with them. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. But see, Jesus Christ heard all those words Nicodemus put forth, but he started speaking to his inwardmost being. He let him know that you must be born again. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name. But Nicodemus' mind was carnal. He said, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb to be born? Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name. But Jesus Christ was speaking on a spiritual level, letting them know that your inward man has to be born again. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. So we all know that this outward man going to perish one day. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. But that inward man, that's what Jesus Christ was referring to when he said, I come that you might have life. He want to introduce you to the Holy Ghost and fire. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. And that's what's going to put that light on your inward man. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. Thank you, Lord. See, one thing about Jesus, when he went about preaching the gospel, he always let the people know that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Yes, Lord, bless your sweet name. When I found out that the kingdom of heaven is not meat nor drink, but it is righteousness, joy, peace in the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. When the Pharisees was the, was the demanding of Jesus Christ, when the kingdom of God should come. He began to let them people know that the kingdom of God cometh not with observation. He said, neither shall you say, lo, here, or lo, therefore, behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. Well, it couldn't be the natural city that he was referring to. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. Because how can a natural city come and live on the inside of you? But he was talking about the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. He was talking about the Holy Ghost with fire. The same one that John the Baptist came preached in the wilderness. He started letting the people know, I baptize you with water unto repentance. But it's going to come one after me that is mightier than I, whose shoes I'm not worthy to bear. When he come, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. Well, I'm going to let you know today. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That spirit of God, it want to rest on the inward man. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. And you don't put Jesus on the outward man. So I'm going to let you know today you can be clothed with righteousness. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. But you got to go through the Son of God to get it. He is the door to the sheepfold. He is the way, the truth, and the life. That's why when Jesus Christ came, he did all those things that please his Father to show the human race that we can live a life 
that's pleasing to God. Thank you, Jesus, bless your name. So God said it's not his will that the none should perish. So what did he do? He started sending forth all them prophets to try to show the people the ways of God. And the Bible said, last of all, he sent forth his son. Thank you, Jesus, bless your name. And when the son of God came, he began to do all those things that God required of him to show us exactly what we must do in this lifetime. Yes, Lord, bless your sweet name. Thank you, Lord. Because one thing about the Lord, yes, Lord, thank you, Jesus. He's looking for those that want to serve him. He's looking for those that's crying out. Yes, Lord, bless your name. Looking for those that need a better way. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. Those that are hungry and thirsting after God's righteousness. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. Well, I'm in the chain of age when Jesus Christ came. He made salvation available to every man, woman, boy, and girl that opened up their mind and heart. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. And salvation is free. It don't cost you nothing. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus Christ already paid the price. Thank you, Lord, when he died on Calvary. Yes, Lord, bless your sweet name. That was him. Open up a door to salvation. That way we can have a chance at everlasting life. Thank you, Jesus, bless your sweet name. So by one man death, yes, Lord, life entered into the world. Yes, Lord, bless your sweet name. Just like one man sin, death entered into the world. And that one man was Adam. Thank you, Jesus, bless your sweet name. But see, Jesus Christ came to restore. He came to build. Thank you, Lord, those same things that was going on in the first. That way we can have a chance at true salvation. Thank you, Jesus, bless your name. And this is the church of the Lord Jesus Christ that preached, yes, Lord, salvation in the name of Jesus. We don't preach money. We don't preach that prosperity gospel. We let people know the same thing Jesus did when he said repent. Thank you, Jesus, bless your sweet name, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That kingdom of heaven is available to anybody and open up their mind and heart. But you got to understand that God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. So when he starts speaking of this kingdom of God, it was not a natural city. He said, thank you, Jesus, bless your sweet name, that the kingdom of God is within you. Only thing that I know can get on the inside of me is a spirit. Well, don't you know, bless your name, it got to be the right spirit though because there's a lot of spirits in the land today thank you lord but i'm talking about the holy ghost the holy spirit thank you lord the spirit of god the same one that jesus christ received when he got baptized by his cousin john at the river of jordan i'm talking about that same spirit that is leading god to into all truth and righteousness thank you jesus bless your name that's the one we got to come in contact with because I'm aware that there's a lot of spirits in the land today. But I found out this spirit that we in fellowship, we got a name on it. That's why Jesus Christ said, I am coming my father's name. He said, you receive me not. He said, but if another shall come in his own name, him shall you receive. But he also said, but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, who the father will send in my name. He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. So there's only one name, thank you, Lord, given among men, whereby we must be saved. Well, that's the name of Jesus. See, at that name of Jesus, every knee go bow and every tongue go confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Just to give God some glory. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. And that's the name that's above every name. Why is that? Is that because the Father, he wears that same name. See, the Bible let me know in the book of Ephesians, chapter 3, verse 14 and 15, the apostle Paul say, For this cause I bow my knee unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. I'm going to let you know about this family name. And that name is Jesus. Thank you, Lord, bless your sweet name. That's why when you call upon him, you can be saved. That's why they rebuke all them devils in the name of Jesus. It's power in that name, but you got to have faith in it. Thank you, Jesus, bless your sweet name. What about that man? Yes, sir, that was laid at the gate called Beautiful. He was laid from his mother's womb. When he thanked you, Jesus, bless your name, they laid him right there at that gate called Beautiful every single day, asking alms of the people. But when he fastened his eyes on Peter and John, they said, Sim, 
silver and gold I have none but such as I have in the name of Jesus Christ rise and walk and the Bible say immediately this man received strength inside his legs thank you Jesus bless your name but he went inside the temple leaping and praising God because God performed a miracle upon his life thank you Jesus and he was grateful so he blessed the God of heaven thank you Jesus bless your name and he went in that temple leaping and praising God but there was so many people that was looking on and they began to say by what name or by what power yes Lord bless your name did this man stand before us Lord so he started letting the people know that by the name of Jesus Yes, Lord, bless your name. This man stand before you whole, but he said through faith in his name. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. So when you call upon the name of Jesus, you got to believe in it. You got to know that something going to take place the moment you mix that name in with some faith. And start believing. Because I found that the best way to get God to answer you and move in your favor is to call upon his name. And believing in it. And whatsoever you ask in faith, I know God gonna hear it. Yes, Lord, bless your name, but He gonna move according to His will. Yes, Lord, thank you, Jesus. So I've learned how to pray in the name of Jesus. I've learned, yes, Lord, how to get in contact with God. Thank you, Jesus, bless your sweet name. And I stopped asking for all the carnal things in life. I start asking for more wisdom, more knowledge. I start asking for the Holy Ghost to come inside my life. Thank you, Jesus. So I took my mind off all the natural things that people need just to survive for a day to day. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name. And I start considering my soul's salvation, knowing that I got to have the spirit of Jesus Christ living in the body within me. So my prayers begin to change. Yes, Lord, bless your name, no longer worry about a job, money, cars, and clothes. Yes, Lord, bless your name, because the Bible says, what do it profit for the man to gain the whole world, but still die, lose his soul? So I understand these things that you see with your natural eye, it's a substance just to take care of yourself. But what about the Spirit of God? Thank you, Jesus, bless your name. That's the most valuable thing. Thank you, Lord, that's in this world today that you can obtain. But it's a certain way you got to entreat the Lord just to get it. It's a certain way you entreat the Lord just to get it. So I found out in the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 15, he started letting us know to call upon the name of the Lord with the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name continually. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name. And that's why at the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, we always say thank you, Jesus. Because we also found out that's a form of prayer. Yes, Lord, bless your sweet name. And that's the same way we believe Jesus Christ was praying when he began to pray to his Father. Thank you, Lord, bless your name. And all those disciples, they begin to see the Son of Man pray. So they begin to ask him, Lord, teach us how to pray. Thank you, Jesus, bless your sweet name. And he started letting them know exactly what you need to do to pray. But as I began to examine the way he taught them how to pray, it was nothing concerning anything natural. Because one thing about it, bless your sweet name, God will already take care of you. He's a father. He's a provider. Yes, Lord, he said, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor a seed begging bread. So what about Solomon? Yes, Lord, bless your sweet name. He had an opportunity to pray for anything in this world that he wanted. But he took the time to pray for knowledge and wisdom to lead about the people of God. Yes, Lord, bless your sweet name. And here it is, the great God of heaven. He heard his request, but yet still, he gave him wisdom exceedingly much, but he also gave him riches. Thank you, Jesus, bless your name. He didn't ask for the riches, but God gave it to him anyway. Thank you, Jesus, bless your name. But most importantly, he asked for wisdom to lead about the people of God. So I started seeing these examples inside the Bible. I said, you know what? I want to find myself praying for something spiritual praying for knowledge of God praying that the Holy Spirit live and dwell inside of me yes Lord bless your sweet name thank you Lord 
Because one thing about it, as a human race, we did create ourselves. It took a God of heaven, thank you, Jesus, bless your sweet name, to create the human race. But why did he create us? He created us for us to worship and serve him. Thank you, Jesus, bless your sweet name. But I found out without the spirit of God, man can lead astray. He can go the wrong way. But what about the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, who the Father will send in the name of Jesus? That spirit will lead and guide you into all truth the righteousness therefore you would not be able to go astray thank you Jesus bless your sweet name because we got a great bishop and shepherd over our soul and his name is Jesus he's the one that leads the flock thank you Jesus bless your name I say he the one leading the flock so he know one thing bless your name at one point in time that the shepherd he smoked the flock and they all scattered Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. But don't you know, bless your name, thank you, Jesus. By Jesus Christ being that great shepherd and bishop over our soul, we no longer have to go astray. Because he, he said, my sheep will hit my voice and by no means they will follow a stranger. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name. So one thing about it, I learned that the Spirit of God speaking expressively. He always got something to say, and that's why we out here today letting you know if the Spirit of God speaking, thank you, Jesus, bless your name, trying to call the soul of man unto him. See, just like in the days, yes, Lord, Jeremiah, God used Jeremiah to tell the people, yes, Lord, thank you, Lord, to turn on backsliding children, said the Lord, he said, for I'm married unto you. So God is telling the people, yes, Lord, to turn to him. Thank you, Jesus, bless your sweet name. Serve him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And if you need help along the way, the church of the Lord Jesus Christ is established in Jacksonville, Texas. Thank you, Lord, about 30 miles down the road. Yes, Lord, we here to help the soul of man come in contact with salvation. Thank you, Jesus, bless your sweet name. And salvation is something that's available right now today. Thank you, Jesus, bless your name. Most people think salvation is something that you get when you die. Yes, Lord, thank you, Lord. But when you be saved from all the sin that you committed, you've been saved from all the false prophets in the land of day. You've been saved from false doctrine. That is salvation. Thank you, Lord. That's why the Bible says salvation is near than when we first believe. Thank you, Jesus, bless your sweet name. So I found out Jesus, he was that Savior. He was the one coming and seeking and saving those that was lost. Well, I was one of the ones that was lost. The devil had my mind going to and fro in the earth. Thank you, Lord, doing things contrary to the ways of God. Thank you, Lord, but when the Spirit of God started dealing with my conscience, yes, Lord, thank you, Lord, he made me repent of all my sins. I started seeing myself, thank you, Lord, like a looking glass. I started realizing that I was going against the ways of God. So I started asking for mercy. And he did just have mercy upon me. He had compassion. He showed me a love that I've never known. Because all the loved ones that I knew, at some point they all turned their back on me. So I understand what Jesus Christ went through when he put forth that love to all those disciples. When it was coming time for him to die and be crucified, they all left him. But see, that was just a fulfillment of the scripture where he say that he smote all the shepherds and the sheep scattered. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you, and they all left him. Yes, Lord, bless your sweet name. He even told Peter, he said, Peter, you gonna deny me. Peter said, no, not me, Lord. Thank you, Lord, but he let him know. Yes, Lord, when this cock crowed three times, you're going to deny me. Thank you, Lord, bless your name. And here it is. He began to warm himself by the fire. And somebody came and said, you was with this righteous man, wasn't you? Peter started lying and said, no, I wasn't. That was him denying the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, bless your sweet name. And then somebody else came and said, you was with this just man. Thank you, Lord, bless your name. He went to lying and cursing. Thank you, Jesus, bless your name, denying the Lord, just like the Lord spoke. But I'm here to tell you today, thank you, Lord. God had compassion on Peter. Jesus Christ had compassion on him. So when he got filled with the Holy Ghost, he was ready to serve the Lord with all his heart, mind, soul, and strength, never to deny the power of God again. Thank you, Jesus, bless your sweet name. So don't you know when Jesus Christ began to raise up Peter, he said, when you are converted, 
He say, feed my sheep. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name. And he put the keys of knowledge on Peter's shoulders. He said, whatsoever you shall bound on earth shall be bound in heaven. But whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. But I find out about baptism in the name of Jesus. How you can be loosed on earth. Thank you, Lord, and God. He'll forgive those sins, and you'll be loose in heaven. There will be nothing that's holding you back from serving God. But it first takes, yes, Lord, that Jesus' name, baptism. Thank you, Lord, bless your name, Jesus. When you get your sins remitted in the name of Jesus. He said, but whatsoever should be loosed in earth should be loosed in heaven. One thing I know, Jesus Christ come and set the captive free. And the Bible says, who the Son set free, he'll be free indeed. I don't know about the rest of the people out here in Henderson, but I was bound. I had so many devils torment my mind. Thank you, Jesus, bless your sweet name. But when the Lord came inside my life, he demonstrated the power that was greater than the force that I was dealing with at that time. And it began to set me free right there inside my mind. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. No longer in bondage and being tossed to and fro by the elements of the world. He gave me power in my mind to cast down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. He taught me how to bring every thought in obedience and subjection to the obedience of Jesus Christ. So as he began to teach me how to fight against this real enemy, because the enemy of the devil is not people that you can see with your natural eye. God created the human race and we are committed to love one another. But there's a real devil that go about seeking who he may devour. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. And he know how to make it seem like it's a natural battle. But I'm going to let you know the Bible says the weapon of our warfare. It is not carnal, but it's mighty through God. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name. It takes the spirit of God to overcome this devil. Just like Jesus, when he got baptized. Thank you, Lord, at the river of Jordan and by his cousin John. The Bible said the Spirit of God lit upon him like a dove and it rested upon him. And then the Bible said he was led into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. After he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he said afterward he was a hungry. And this lying devil came to him and said, if you be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But Jesus Christ, yes, Lord, bless your name, he was bringing all them thoughts in subjection so what did he do? He said, as it is written, man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. But do you think that stopped the devil from coming? Yes, Lord, bless your name. He came right back in a moment of time. Yes, Lord, bless your name. Took him up to a high pinnacle and started letting them know, yes, Lord, bless your sweet name. All these things in the world you can have if you just fall down and worship me. Yes, Lord, bless your name. But Jesus, he still brought them thoughts and subjection into the obedience of Christ, the obedience of the spirit of that anointing so he began to say, thank you, Lord, you should not tempt the Lord your God. Thank you, Jesus, bless your name. There's only one God we're supposed to serve, and that's the great God of heaven. It just so happened God sent forth the Son, somebody to stand in the gap to make up the heads. So therefore, Jesus is the way to the Father. So if I got to get to God, I got to go through that mediator. And the Bible said there's one God, one mediator between God and man. That's the man, Christ Jesus. So he said he the door to the sheepfold as well. But he said if any climb up any other way, the same would be a thief and a robber. So I don't want to be a thief and a robber. I want to go through that door. Jesus is that door. He said I'm the way, the truth, and the life. He the way to the Father. So if you want to see your maker when you die, you got to go through Jesus. Yes, Lord, the Son of God. I don't care what the world say. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And he declared to be the Son of God by the spirit of holiness. Yes, Lord, bless your sweet name. All the devils know who the Son was when they came to that man that was possessing the devils. They said, oh, thou Son of David, are you come to torment us before the times? Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. Yeah, he came to torment them. But he was the son of God. But many people thought during them days, just by him saying he was the son of God, they thought he blasphemed and tried to make himself equal with God. Thank you, Jesus, bless your sweet name, not knowing that they was operating by the same spirit. 
But I found out, bless your name, at the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. They taught me that Jesus Christ made a statement and said, I and my father are one. But Jesus started praying and said, Father, I pray for the men who gave me that they will be one even as we are one. Yes, Lord, bless your name. So I'm going to tell you, thank you, Jesus, bless your name. You can be one with the Lord, but how do you be one with him? It's about that one spirit that he sent forth into the world. That's how you be one with him. He that is joined unto the Lord is joined by one spirit. And that's the Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord, bless your name. And so if there's anybody listening from afar or near, notice one time I didn't condemn nobody. Because we're not out here for that. I didn't say anything about no money and taking up an offering. Because we're not out here for that either. Thank you, Jesus, bless your sweet name. It's the only church that I know that preaches soul salvation. We preach baptism in Jesus' name. We preach being born again, full of the Holy Ghost and fire. We preach the love of God, letting people know he that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love. And what greater love hath this than no man that he lay his life down for his friend. And that's the principle that we stand on because we know God is the God of compassion and mercy. That's why we don't judge and put nobody down at the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because I was one of the worst of the worst. And if I know God can have mercy upon me, he can have mercy on anybody. See, what about Saul? He used to persecute the church. He thought he was doing the will of God, but all the while he was going contrary to the ways of God. But God had mercy upon him. He, he allowed him to make a journey to Damascus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. And on his way there, the Bible says, a light shine from heaven, knocked him to the earth, blinded him for three days, and a voice spoke out and said, Saul, Saul, why persecuted thou me? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I'm Jesus, whom you persecuted. Well, don't you know God didn't have, he didn't hold his past towards him. He forgave him. He had mercy upon him. Despite all that he'd done, contrary to the ways of God, so this God that I serve is full of compassion, full of mercy. He's long-suffering. See, just like the Bible say, Lord waited. Yes, Lord, bless your sweet name. The long-suffering God waited in the days of Noah while the ark was preparing. See, God was dealing with the people trying to bring their mind up to a high level. So what he do? He sent forth the righteous man to preach. Start letting the people know what was about to take place. Thank you, Jesus, bless your sweet name. But the Bible said the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah, pleading with the people, having mercy and compassion, trying to get somebody to hearken to the voice of God. But see, the Bible said their thoughts was evil continually. They didn't want to hear it. Thank you, Jesus, bless your sweet name. So they didn't even hearken to God nor Noah. But see, God ended up giving Noah some instructions. I want you to prepare this ark. And in the meantime, he went out to preach, thanking Jesus, bless your sweet name, and God gave him specific instructions on how to build this ark. And then he did exactly that. And when the time was come, for the things that God had spoken was going to come to pass, it did. But all the people that tried to get on that ark after God shut the door, they couldn't find their way onto the ark. So it was a little bit too late for them. So that's why we always say, while the blood is running warm in your veins, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon the while he's near. He's not too far from any of us at any time. The Bible say he'll be a very present help in a time of trouble. So I don't know about you, but my soul was in trouble because the devil had me dangling from a string. Yes, Lord, bless your sweet name. And here it is. I was in danger of hell fire if I would have died. Thank you, Lord, doing all the weakness that I was doing. But see, God had compassion upon me. He seen all the ignorant things I was doing. Yes, Lord, bless your sweet name. And yet still had compassion upon me. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. Thank you, Lord. And that's why we serve the way we do at the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Knowing that souls are important unto him. And he said, it's not his will that none should perish. 
So since he made that statement, he always did what he could to send forth messengers, trying to let people know that you got an inward man and your soul is precious unto him. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your sweet name. Sent forth a lot of wise men, a lot of prophets. Then the Bible say, happy in these last days, spoken unto us by his son. Thank you, Jesus. So when, he, when God sent his son, he sent him to be a savior. But I also found out as Jesus Christ began to mold and shape you, he started letting, he started letting me know that there was going to be saviors on Mount Zion. Yes, Lord, bless your sweet name. Trying to help the people come in contact with salvation. Yes, Lord, bless your sweet name. Just like in, in the hospital when a woman gives birth, they'll have a midwife right there pushing that woman on so she can give birth to a child, an unborn child. Thank you, Jesus, bless your sweet name. We're at the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. We got men wives too. So if you ever want to come in contact with the Holy Ghost and fire, you got to be born again. Thank you, Jesus, bless your sweet name. And we got men wives to push you through so you can be born. Thank you, Lord, of the water and of the spirit. Yes, Lord, bless your sweet name. Thank you, Jesus. Because that's one thing I know for sure. It was commanded to the human race that we must be born of the water and of the spirit. So I found out being born of the water was baptism in Jesus' name. I also found out being born of the spirit was receiving the Holy Ghost, the same one that came on the day of Pentecost. That's the spirit that you have to be born of. But how do you come in contact with it? What about praying and supplication? What about spreading your soul? Yes, Lord, bless your sweet name. What about the same thing they were doing the day of Pentecost? They was up there tearing, waiting for the Holy Ghost, waiting for the promise of the Father. But when you read and search the scriptures thorough, you'll find out they was up there praying, making supplications. And the Bible says suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. The Spirit of God came in there when it started moving, when they got their mind to a certain place where the Spirit of promise can come to them. Thank you, Lord. Well, this is the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, bless your sweet name. 